sideways dog. You got to move. You got to move it. Bring that to also, because I wanted to show. Sideways, you got to move it like this, bro. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Don himself, Wendy Williams, is in the building. Hey! Yo, Wendy! <laughs> Yo, Wendy! Oh, my God. <laughs> they know it would be done. Uh, Wendy. Yes? Um, It's been a while since we've seen or heard from you. Well, I'm at my apartment. You're in your apartment. Um, Look around. It's been a while, Wendy, and we all miss you on TV. And me and Remy, thank you for letting us host the show. Yes. Well, you know, I, I, love, I love everyone hosting it. But I have to say, if I only wanted one person, I wish you only did that always. And then I come back, and whenever I want to, you know, fly away someplace else for a little while, then you do it again. I love you two, or just her, or just you. By the way, yeah. this is... Let me tell you something, Wendy. You definitely, uh, so I saw you, I'm not going to lie, I seen you out the other night with Jason Lee at the Met Gala uh, after parties, and I said, I got to have you on the show. Well, I didn't see anybody, but you know who this is? This is Joan Rivers. You know who that is? Yes. Well, she gave this to me. I used to go to her apartment just by myself after doing the... Wendy Williams show, and I go over there, and we would curse like the dog. And so he goes, "Here, have it." And she threw it to me and said, "Now go home." <laughs> so Joan funny. Rivers is a legend. All what? right, so Wendy, listen, Wendy. So we get you looking beautiful. Look we'll into it. There's so many. Come here, Wendy. Huh? So many rumors about why you're not in the show. There was a big rumor saying the Alzheimer's, that you forget, you forgetting stuff. And could you clear that up for the people? Because you got huge fans oh. that want to know. I don't mind talking about this, you know. I was in Miami, and then I found out that my money was, was um, I don't want to talk too much about that, but let's just say I know what kind of money I have. Unfortunately, I only have $2 and nothing else. Everything is um, frozen. And um, the some people are involved with this. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, but Wendy, I'm trying to say, is it people you trusted that no. spread the rumor of the Alzheimer's so they could take your money? Is no. this a money grab? No, people say things like that. that. Like maybe I went because I have the lymphedema. I told you about my about my feet. Um, people say, well, uh, I just am ready to go. And where is she? Where is she? Where is she? I told you when they when they froze my money and stopped it. They froze my son's uh, stuff. And we talked about it. I don't want to talk too much about it because I know that a lot of people. How many people will know what you and I are talking about? I mean, everybody's on here, Wendy. So whatever you say, they're going to they gonna run with it. So this ain't like a private, because cause Wendy calls me privately and talks to me about things. And so, uh, and so you know, but it's private. But but now we're doing this. This is an interview type of thing, Wendy. Whatever you say, everybody's tuned in. Um, by the way, Joan Rivers also gave this to me. This is a very, she was wearing this um, when she was like somewhere and she had it at her apartment. And I said, wow. I said, do you mind if I, cause I'm not gonna wear that because you know, you're, you know, uh, I don't wanna wear that. She goes, you, you know, I don't wanna curse to you. But look, this is what, yeah, John Rivers. I love well, you. Let me, let me ask you a question, Wendy. Uh, so did you take a break from the show or did you agree to just leave? Uh, um, why did you just get up and leave? Did, uh, was it like a takeover? What? Oh, no, somebody stopped giving me my money 
Somebody stop giving me my American Express. Somebody stop. I have no money. Fortunately, this place where I'm living in, I love that my cats are here, you know, and nobody else. I got some other people here because I tell them to come over. By the way, see this right here? He gave that to me. He died. Wow. Never even, look, it's still on. I never did it myself. See, I love stuff like this. Good, right? So, so, so you definitely, um, so how do you pay your bills? If you're saying they froze your money, you can't do the show because you can't get paid. You can't, so how are you paying your bills, Wendy? Well, I know some people who give me money to, for things like if I want the essential things, like um, I want to go out to a restaurant or I want to come over to your place, you know, uh, or I want to go over to whoever, you know what I'm saying? Madonna, if I want, if I want Madonna to come over here, if I want um, anybody, you know what I'm saying? But it really is about my, because my family, if, if I don't have my money, then that means that I don't, that I can't do what I always used because I had a lot of money. Not as much as you. No, no, you got a lot of money. You might have more money than me. <laughs> um, and and so, because you've been killing them for so many years on TV, number one TV show. Do you, do you miss not coming to the show? Yes, I do. I wish I was there. I wish I was there right now to talk about it and talk about it with you. But you know what? Because... Um, they already put people there like you. You guys are already in position. So you'll be talking about that. But I'm glad that I'm able to talk about when I come back, you know? Okay, so is there plans for a new show or are you coming back to the Wendy Williams show? Coming back to the Wendy Williams show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Because That's I know they were talking about Sherry Shepard Taking over the show, a, a, a new what? But I won't be watching her because I know what she's going to be doing, and that's really not my thing. Um, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, but I love, I love being on my own show, and I love that people love to watch it. You know, all the time. You know? uh, rest in peace to a gentleman. He just passed yesterday. Oh. Kevin Samuels, his, a gentleman, Kevin Samuels. Have you ever heard of him? This guy, he gives, like, relationship advice and stuff. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was, a, he was an interesting dude. He passed away yesterday. God bless. Rest in peace. Uh, and he always giving this uh, advice to the ladies or to the guys or whatever the case may be. Um... You had went to Miami for a minute with your family, huh? I can't, I don't even know who that is, but that's what I'm talking about. I'm very, I'm very, um, I am very um, soft and, and very, I'm, uh, I mean, you know this, but everyone doesn't know. I'm quite lovely. You know, I'm a real special girl. And I, I, I um, always, you know, I laugh and then I have to go home. You know, or I don't want you to come over to my apartment, but I want you to come over to their apartment. Or, you know what I'm saying? See? Did you hear that? Hear what he said? He passed away, yeah. Yeah, some, some guy named Kevin Samuels, he's big on YouTube and all that. He always gives advice. He's, he's a good, he was a cool dude, an interesting dude. I would, I would think you know him because you know Jason Lee, you know everybody, yeah. you know game and uh. What, what, what's that like, Jason Lee? He's the only guy that gets you to come outside. I did, I, no, no. Let's talk about something else. Um, so can I please tell you about these people right here? Because, by the way, you might want to call after, you know, later on, okay? Now, okay. Oh, you come here first. Come here first. Introduce yourself. Here's a man here, and he went to, well, Tell me. Do you see him? What's up, brother? What's up, my brother? How you doing? Remember me, Joe, from Atlantic Days? Yeah, I do remember you from the Atlantic Days. How you been? Man, killing, grinding, 
So you taking care of my girl over there? Absolutely. Yeah. In a different kind of way. In a different kind of way. Yeah, man. He's got so much. He's got so much money. I don't know which one has more money than than you. <laughs> Seriously. It's just good seeing you, man. Proud, proud of everything you've done. You're the hardest working dude I know, man. You carved hey, your man, thank you. Last I saw you, you was doing like Wall Street and shit like that, right? You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, but capital markets, you know, look at it. It's all about the uh undervalued opportunities that are out there. And so you know you know when the hey, radio days? Sorry. Wendy since the radio days, you know Wendy since the radio days? No, when did you know me? I know Wendy oh, early TV days. I would say early TV days. Yeah. But not like this, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, go there. Hey, please, man, I just want to say hi. Hi, my brother. I know this guy. Did you already? Guy's no, your friend. Already. There he is. Joe, what up, Joe? What's up, my brother? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. We go back to Lexington Ave days. That's right, that's right. It's safe to say Wendy ain't hiding nowhere. She got a house full of people, huh? You remember GX, God bless him. Rest in peace, Gerard X. God bless, man, Gerard X, man, he passed last year. He was the best, man, one of my best friends from Lexington Ave. Yeah. Shout out to his sister and his family, yup. Yeah, yeah. the first guy who ever took me to Dapper Dan to get some Gucci and stuff. He's a big boy, Wendy, and I and he walked. I used to see him. He used to wear this Louis Vuitton, and I'd be like, "Yo, my man, where do you get this? This is back in the day, '80s, '90s." And he'd be like, "Yo, that." But then he took me over there, and I started getting fresh ever since with the Louis Vuitton and Gucci. He was a good guy. Exactly. So you gotta know me. I'm Mel Maxi. I'm I'm the one who does everybody. Everybody. God bless. God bless. I seen your Instagram. I followed you. Mm -hmm. I see what you're doing. Love. Respect, Love. my brother. God bless. So, Wendy, the yeah. fans want to know, is it in the talks? Are you almost coming back? People need to see you on TV. And I know you got guest hosts and everybody, me, Remy, and Mike. Everybody's trying to do the right thing to keep I, it alive for you. I, but I, coming back. But I can only talk to one person about what I want to do. And I'm going to call you right before I do it, OK? I can't. I don't want to talk about what I want to do. But you'll do it. I know you will. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Wendy, you know I got your back, man. Whatever you need, you let me know, man. I'm here, man. I love you so much. I had no idea that when I first met you that you felt that way about me. Yeah, well, well you know, I got respect for you and love. and. I think it's all about um, community. It's all about family, man. You came up in the radio, hip hop. You came up with us. We got to make sure you right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to make sure we all right. That's what it's all about. Like, so anything that was before our time or anything that was before our era of what we're doing. I, I was talking about this to my girl last night. I was like, yo. We got to lift each other up. We got to be there for each other. Not just Wendy and Joe. Everybody got to be there for each other. Hey, you know what? Do you remember when you and I were both fat? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, well, and now we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, how's, how's your foot doing? Because I know you got the feet problem. Lymphedema. Yes. Um, well, you know, I told you I can, I, I, well, I'll tell you what that is again. It's that thing where you can't feel anything. Like when I touched my feet, um, I was doing a wheelchair with it, uh, at first, because I said, how am I going to walk around like this? I can only feel about, out of a hundred percent of my feet, I only feel about five percent of it. it like... Well, you can't see it close, but I'll show it when I get on the on the show. Listen, okay. Get up. Okay, so uh, so Wendy, anything you want to tell the fans because they love you and they on here and they want to know what's up. 
Well, um, nothing to really talk about. Uh, you know, I love my apartment so much that this is where I want to be. Really. You know, when I go out to eat and, you know, then I'll talk. And I don't even really want to talk to people. I need my money. I need my money. I need my money. That's your money. You worked hard for it. And you need your money. Yep. And it, it, this shit feeling like a Britney Spears type of shit or something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know where that happened. I got my American Express. I can't even do that. I can't even do it. Because I can't give them. It's ridiculous. I'll talk about it once I get on the Wendy, once I get on my show. But let me ask you somebody, do you have like a legal team that's defending you, that's fighting to get your money back? Um, excuse me. I got people that will get that done. They will get it. That's why I'm not, you know, um, I don't feel as though I will be, um, I will go away. I will get even bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'll talk about it. Maybe I'll talk about it while I'm doing my show. Or maybe I'll talk about it while um having, you know, dessert or something like that. Because you know what? Um, just when you think things like that, you know, stop giving me your cash, your money. Uh, it happens to high people with a lot of money. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I see what you're saying. Uh, I'm too thin. I, I keep hearing that shit, that commercial where he goes, it's my money, I want it now. You know the, the yeah. commercial that got? <laughs> I, I just keep hearing this shit in my head. Uh, and uh, so, Wendy, man, we love you. We appreciate you. Uh, I'm glad you came on. I know everybody and their mother been trying to get you on their show or whatever. I'm glad that you trust me yeah. enough to come on with me. Because I'm definitely uh, here to support you and not try to burn you in any way. Um, and, uh, well, I'm going to be here behind the scenes as well, making sure I can do whatever I got to do. Because now that I know it's like a tight situation, you know, I'm here to support you no matter what. Thank you. I'm going to say All right. Love you, Wendy. Say goodbye to your fans. Uh, no, I don't want to show him around. See, this is what people do. They want, because I know it's not just me and you talking about this. All right, I already told you, this is a very sexy place that I live in, okay? It's, it, you had to have a lot of money to be able to do that. And that's all I'm going to talk about, okay? There's an upstairs, there's a downstairs, my cats are here, and that's it. Let me tell you something, you're very successful, independent woman, you worked your whole life for your empire, and you deserve to live the way you want to live. And so that's all that matters. And you deserve to live there. And if you want to get a bigger place, you get a bigger place because you work for it. And I know because I've been doing guest hosts with, 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 with Remy. I've been getting up 5 in the morning to go to the Wendy show. I'm like 6.30 getting COVID tests. I'm like, yo, this is a serious process. Have you been keeping in touch with, like, Norman or Susan or any of these guys? Yeah. No, I do. I'm in touch with all of them, you know, behind the scenes. You know, I, I, you know, call them up or they'll come over, you know. But I really, really do. Um, I really do like being at my apartment. I love it. I never in my wildest dream would I ever think that I'd be at some place like this. You deserve it. You worked hard for it. Thank you. <laughs> God bless. And I'll talk to you behind the scenes soon, okay? I love you. All right, Wendy. Love you too. Bye-bye. And so there you have it. The one and only world famous Wendy Williams. And so... uh. Very smart woman, number one show for many, many years on TV. And she knows how, you know, Fat Joe Jopra thought he was, you know, she knows how to box and move, bob and weave. And so behind the scenes, she talks to me and tells me things 
you know, but I, I noticed in here she wasn't comfortable with talking like that. Well, obviously, somebody's taking advantage. Obviously, she worked many, many years for her money. Um, and she deserves to live however she wants to live. Uh, does she have Alzheimer's? When I talk to her, she don't sound like no Alzheimer's. When we talking on the phone, meaning an hour plus, it don't sound nothing like, and you don't know who I know, okay? So rock so much finer vodka, wild cherry Pepsi. You just don't know who I know. And so, yes, that was Wendy Williams. And uh, I feel bad for her that people are taking advantage of her. I can't even believe this exists in America where you got a grown woman, brilliant, uh, a genius, created her own production company, her own empire, because of her, uh, what, three, four hundred people work. Um, and so they got to get to it. I can't believe Booby Smooth. What's up, Booby Smooth? I can't believe that uh, this is allowed where people could finagle. So basically, what it is is like she got people she really trusted who handle her money, and they're trying to say she got Alzheimer's, she ain't got memory, so they can control her money, right? But the woman is saying she don't got it, and by the way, she worked all her life for it, and no one should have the right to take her money. Um... Sad to hear Wendy Williams say she ain't got no money. Uh, sad to hear that she's saying, I want to live in my apartment. I don't want to get kicked. Sad to hear that. Because she's a legend on radio, a legend on TV. Now, Wendy don't always say the right shit. You know, I've, I've talked to people behind the scenes. It was like, yo, Wendy Williams. And there's people that uh, wish... Uh, bad on her um because you know she you know she made up bones she made up money um talking about people in the industry and talking about rumors and shit like that and you know Wendy was very very heartless at certain things so it's sad that when we do talk to people oh that's crazy it's sad that when we do talk to people Um, it's sad that when we do talk to people, uh, they say, you know, y'all, she be talk, you know, she used to talk like this or like that. And so, uh, you gotta have empathy. You gotta have heart. At the end of the day, whether she was for you or she wasn't, uh, that's our sister. And we gotta show her empathy, we gotta show her remorse, we gotta show her love. That's just it, you know, and you know, she obviously need uh showing people around her that really, really cares about her. Um, when I talk to her on the phone privately, she's on point shop. Uh when we went on, she didn't really want to talk about her shit in detail. I can get it because you know it's legal ramifications. She's trying to cover her thing. Uh, rest in peace to the brother Kevin Samuels. I ain't always agree with him. Uh, but <laughs> boy, did he have something to say. And uh, Dave Chappelle, right? That attack, if somebody jumps on there with a fake gun that got a knife on it, the ass whipping was very, very necessary. Okay, it was very, very necessary because we got to protect Dave Chappelle at all costs. And so this guy, I don't know if he did it for attention, did it for the look or whatever. He, he had to get his ass whooped. Even more legend than what he did. And so... It could have very well, you know, I was there when 
what was it, the Bob Awards, when the guy went, asked Dr. Dre for it, for uh, autograph, and when Dre looked down the right, he hit Dre twice. I was standing right there. And when I seen that, I, always, I said to myself, what if that guy had a knife and cut Dr. Dre? So what you got to understand is I know they're giving the guy all kind of mysteries. I don't really believe, you know me. I'm in for, he jumps on stage, get your ass wet, keep it moving. Um, but they're not really charging them with felonies and all that. And I'm not one of those, I'm not those guys. So to me, I don't realize when I watch the news and something happens to somebody and they're like, please get the guy, get, I don't know what that means. Um, but uh, definitely he deserves his ass with legendary. Shout out my brother Buster Rhymes. They got the Dave and Buster tour, killing them out there. I like to see um,